Well, hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and today we're going to take a little different approach to uh, my math lesson. Uh, typically, when you see me talk about uh, an assignment in your math journal or home links, uh, you see me manipulating uh, the document, a PDF, using my uh, Explain Everything app, uh, and I'm drawing on my iPad. Okay, I have a stylus and I've got all these little controls like a pen where I can write things where I can highlight things where I can uh, fill things in like so there you go and it makes for some interesting and engaging video However, today's lesson has to do with measurement, and I was playing around with how to do that digitally, and after a few minutes of frustration, I figured, well, it'd be just a lot easier if I just filmed myself using uh, a notebook, your math journal. So I'm going to do my video a little bit more old school for you today. Um, I'm in my math journal on page 98. We're in Unit 3, Lesson 12 centimeters and millimeters. Now, this is my math journal, but I'm actually going to use a photocopy because it's going to lay flat on my surface a little bit easier. And since I'm going to be doing some measurement, that will be uh, a little bit more advantageous. Now, if you take a look at the instructions at the top of your page, it says, cut out the ruler given to you by your teacher. Use it to measure the pencils to the nearest centimeter. Now, if you're watching this video, online you're probably at home so a couple of things might be happening one this is homework and you're completing it at home and you're going to do it the next day so you may or may not have a ruler with you or you're a virtual student like my class is this year and you don't have access to things unless i ask your parents to come pick them up every couple of weeks uh, at any rate there's no paper ruler for you to cut out but you might ha actually have access to a real ruler or if you are in my math class, you are given a math template which has a ruler side on both ends. Okay? Or, worse comes to worse, you can go back to your journal and go back to the previous lesson, 311, and you can go to the page that has uh, a ruler printed right on it. It was for our decimal, uh, uh, for metric measurements lesson. Okay, and since there's nothing printed on the back side that would be affected if you cut this out, if a push comes to shove, you could always cut this out if you needed a ruler. But I have an actual ruler, so that's what I'm going to use today. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit and let's read the instructions. It says, cut out the ruler. We, we already talked about that. Use it to measure the pencils to the nearest centimeter, okay? So when I see the words nearest, that tells me to round, okay, or estimate. And I also see the phrase about. About also tells me uh, a rounded or estimated answer is good enough. Sometimes close enough is good enough, okay? So I'm going to measure this first one. And... A little thing about measurement, okay, and I'm using the centimeter side because that's what it says, centimeters. Um, when I use uh, a ruler, I'm not measuring from the edge of the ruler. I'm measuring from the beginning of the markings, okay? If you look really close, there's a gap between the end of the ruler and the beginning of the markings, okay? Now, this was probably made in a plastic mold injection factory where they stamped out this ruler out of plastic and then they ran it through a printing press uh, that printed, uh, screen printed the ink right on it, okay? So they probably needed to make sure that there was at least the 30 centimeters or the 12 inches on the other side of ruler before they printed on it, okay? So the rulers typically are a little bit longer than a foot, or rulers a little bit longer than the 30 centimeters. Same is true for the... Uh, the math template here, there's a big gap between the edge and where the markings start, okay? So whenever you're measuring, you always want to start where the markings are, okay? Now, this is a translucent ruler, meaning that you can kind of see through it. So you can see my hand through it. 
Um, so that helps me line things up with my beginning of my markings. Okay, now I'm measuring a pencil that comes to a point. So I'm going to just use a highlighter to mark off where that point is so it's easier to see through my ruler. Okay, so I'm measuring to the nearest centimeter. And if I start at zero, oh, let's use the centimeter side. If I start at zero and I look at where the marking is, my marking is more than 11, but less than 12. So it's a little bit more closer to the 12 side than it is the 11 side, because there's the halfway point. So I'm going to say this is about 12 centimeters long, like so. Okay. Now I'm going to measure my second ruler. Right. Again, I'll put a marking at the edge. And then I'm going to measure with my ruler starting at the eraser end at the zero and then I'm going to look at where it lands. Now again, it's because it's translucent, I can see through and it looks like the uh, marking is uh, about at the, it's past the 12, it's about 12, 3, 12, 4, we'll say, we'll call that uh, a little bit more than 12, okay? And let's get that in the focus there. There, that's easier. Um, so when I look at this uh, marking right here, it's more than 12, but it's not quite to the halfway point between 12 and 13. So again, I'm going to round down. Okay. So again, I would say this is about 12 centimeters long. Okay. Now, one pencil is longer than the other. Which pencil is longer? Well, this one, B, was longer because it was more than 12 centimeters. Okay. This one was a little bit less than 12, but I rounded up. Okay, so in the explanation, I would write, how did I figure out which pencil was longer? I'd say something like, pencil B is longer because, when I'm explaining something, I want to drop that phrase because to help transition between my position and my reason. Okay, pencil B is longer because it was more than 12 cm centimeters, okay? More than is a great mathematic phrase that talks about comparison, okay? Pencil B is longer because it was more than 12 centimeters. Pencil A was less than. There you go. So there's my explanation. Okay. Now, Marco wants to know the difference in length between the two pencils. Can you tell him why or why not? Well, how would I explain that to Marco, whoever this Marco is, um, when they are about the same length? Well, the answer is in the title of this uh, assignment, which is centimeters and millimeters. M-I-L-L-I, -L -L -I, milli. That uh, pronoun is, uh, it stands for a thousand, okay? Or refers to a thousand. So um, it's the year 2020, and we are in the middle of the third millennium. A millennium is a group of a thousand years. So once we hit uh, 2001, we started the third millennium uh, starting from zero, okay? A millipede is supposedly a, a critter that has a thousand legs. Now, technically it doesn't, but when they were naming it, they sure uh, noticed a lot of legs on that thing, so they uh, called it a millipede, okay? A millimeter is part of a centimeter, or a part of a meter. There are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. Now, on my ruler, if you look at it, there are these little hash lines or, or uh, tick marks in between the centimeters. We talked about them earlier when I was estimating to the nearest centimeter, okay? There are 10 millimeters in between every centimeter. So between the zero and one, including the, uh, the one mark here, I would count off 10 millimeters, okay? So let's measure these pencils again. Okay, so if I look at this one right here, 
I know it's more than 11 and less than 12, but if I zoom in real close and count, okay, here's the halfway mark. So that'd be five millimeters, six, seven. So it's about at the seventh millimeter mark between 11 and 12. So I would call that one 11.7, right? Now the second ruler was a little longer than 12, so it's gonna be 12 and some change. So when I zoom in again and I take a look, keeping the important part in the frame of the camera, I see that is one, two, three, and we'll call that 12.3, okay? So more than 12, but less than 13, all right? So let's now take a look at the bottom, number five. We'll get back to four here in a sec, okay? So it asks us to use the centimeter slash millimeter ruler to measure the pencils to the nearest tenth of a centimeter and millimeter. So the measurement of pencil A is 11.7. The measurement for pencil B is 12.3. Okay. Now how would I translate that into millimeters? Well, as we said, there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. So that means for every centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. Because when I count uh, uh, centimeters, cent means 100. There's 100 years in a century. Uh, a centimeter is 1 one-hundredth of uh, a meter. So if there are 10 spaces in between a centimeter, that would make it 1,000 millimeters. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this amount and I'm just going to multiply it by 10. When I multiply any decimal by 10, I'm just basically moving the decimal over. So 11.7 centimeters would be translated into 117 centimeters. So basically what I do is I take this decimal point and I just move it over one place value to the right. I'll do the same with the second one. 12.3 centimeters is 123 centimeters. Or, I'm sorry, millimeters. MM. Okay? So, pencil B is blank CM or blank MM longer than pencil A. Well, the phrase longer tells me I'm going to do some subtracting. So. I'm going to flip these two numbers around. I'm going to subtract 123 minus 117. Okay, I got to do some regrouping here. I got to borrow from my tens, making that 110, and taking my three ones and turning them into 13 ones. 13 minus 7 is 6. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, I can say this is 6 millimeters longer. Or I could take the exact same problem and insert some decimal points, do the same calculations, but this time bring down that decimal point and use those zeros. So Pencil B is 0 0.6 centimeters longer, or 6 millimeters longer. So getting back to Marco right here, says Marco wants to know the difference in length between the two pencils. Can you tell him why or why not? So as we learned down here, I can explain the difference in lengths. If, that's a good word when you're doing an explanation, I use millimeters. Uh, because the difference 
between them is too small. Four centimeters. And that's, my friends, is how I would go about explaining the difference between these two pencil lengths. Okay? It's pretty uh, slight. Six millimeters is not that much space. Okay? One or two good drawing sessions with a pencil, and uh, you're going to be sharpening it down and be shorter anyway. But sometimes it's really important to be very specific and exact when measuring something, especially if you're doing things scientifically or trying to make a precision instruments. Uh, and sometimes you just want to know to the nearest millimeter. Okay. So if you have questions about this lesson, um, please talk to your math teacher. Um, they would be more than happy to help you figure out the, uh, the nuances in measuring to the nearest millimeter. Um, if, uh, if I don't hear from you again, I hope you have a good afternoon. And uh, until we talk again, have a good day. Thanks.